so much medical research has been focused on what to do when a person gets ill and when they need to be treated. What we're passionate about is producing new ways of doing business that actually better people's lives. And so our focus is on making devices that can be simply applied on the body and will do measurements while people are going about their normal business. We want to produce a bandage-like product that goes on the arm or on the foot or somewhere on the body, collects sweat, and then automatically it does all the analysis for you, puts it into a form that's easy to understand, and reports it. You can read your results on your cell phone pretty much just as easily as you can read an email. Our goal, ultimately, is to have a real-time, continuous, non-invasive method to collect and measure biomarkers in sweat. There's a lot of people for whom having blood drawn is frankly a trial. And if there was a way in a non-invasive method to measure immune and neural and other biomarkers in sweat, that would avoid the necessity to draw blood. The challenge right now is that we don't have a device that will measure in real time minute amounts of sweat. So in order to establish the methods, we have to get people to exercise, to collect enough volume of sweat to do the kinds of sophisticated analytical chemistry measures to validate the method. We have an MD, an engineer, and a chemist all in the same group. And what we do when we engage in product development is that we utilize all three of these parts to solve problems. One of the most exciting things for me and my team, having come to the University of Arizona, is the collaborative nature and entrepreneurial spirit of this institution. You've got to have experts from across disciplines and experts from industry. Businesses have problems that we at the university, through our uh, collective talents of our faculty, staff, and students, are able to solve in new and different ways. But it's more than that. We train scientists and engineers and researchers to really be those practical problem solvers, that they are at the fundamental aspects of developing new technologies, of applying science towards the public good and making a difference. We have all these great sources at this university, but there's something that we don't have. What we can't do is manufacturing. We need to have the companies work with us so that the ideas we have and the ideas we develop together with companies can get out the door, get into products, and get into people's hands and they can use them. The earlier in the process that you start to partner, the more successful you will be, especially for what we're doing, which has at the ultimate goal, a product to help people. It's a very exciting opportunity and I'm looking forward to seeing it, the actual devices be made.